Hi everybody, my name is Manic the Short for Maximum Panic, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Story Mode. So, uh, not entirely sure what's happening, but I just got some message that the, uh, the Asian guys who wanted to do crack with me just showed up at my place and were really here to see me, so... Smells like home. Hi, you, and where's Michael? Michael is gone. What the hell? Okay, let's find you a better shirt first, at least. No, no. No, well, uh, maybe, no. Yeah, what I picked up for him, I think we'll do for now. So, yeah. Oh, my poor TV. All right, yeah, so Michael's gone. Is she still here and has been, uh... Your mothers were so easy on you. I'm sorry? I will take a beer, though, gladly. Oh, man. Good lord, man, just chugging the thing down, why don't you? Not the boys. Badly weaned, I'd say. Probably. So... Oh, she's been cleaning! Nice! It actually looks nice! Michael wanted to leave now of all times? Hey, good stuff. Alright, so Trevor's, Trevor's got some stuff to do, but so does Franklin, so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do here. Ah, well. Whoops. Get off the fence. There we go, and there we go! Oh god, ow. What? <laughs> How does something like this get stuck like that? Better? Shockingly, better but worse. That's better. So, who wanted to see me about something, huh? Hello? Ah, yes, chef's left. Hi, Michael! Oh, really, Trevor? Oh. Nice place you got here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> yep. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Oh, come yeah, on. I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. Hey! You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, Seriously. all right? Seriously. You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? You! Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck Bitch. off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Again? Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's hmm. about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Oh, boy. Thank God, I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter. That's standard? Truck. Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Couple oh, million? There. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, yeah. you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture you me just over your best friend. I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Damn, Michael. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yeah. Jeez. Woo. Welcome back, man. Back. This is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye. Okay. Well. Ah, oh, Jesus. No kidding. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. Oh, he said boy. he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Oh, Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. Do I have to? Trevor, get the fuck in. Little bit it is. So are we just gonna sit in awkward silence listening to the radio the whole time, or is somebody gonna? Call Lester. There we go. 
What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. Whee! I'll get on a bus. Ow. Ow. My bad. Well. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital. Tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Shut oh. up. This AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. Good Lord. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Hmm. Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. You okay? Uh, some ways you defy categorization. But then, he really does. Like, think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get sorry. your colonics. Right. Is he a Canadian but at some point? Or am I just thinking that? Here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, a little wacky. Whatever's He's got a point. Is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. Ha! You should be a stop. Bad. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? What are we talking you about? Are a hipster. Oh my God. A hipster. I hate hipsters. But you are Classic one. Classic hipster denial. <laughs> I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. Why oh really my God. fucking do? Self hatred. Common hipster affliction. Uh, because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. <laughs> The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Oh Maybe boy. you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. The what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. I don't even know what he's saying. You're trying to wind me up. I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Fine. Hipster. Fuck you! <laughs> Say it again. Hipster! I'm not a sadist. Uh, that was a good one. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Yeah. Uh, we doing this again? Oh, yeah. Well, ow! Come on, man, knock it off. What? Jeez, Michael should have seen some days, hasn't it? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You alleviate the boredom. So ah, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. Lesser. Paradise. Come on, cars this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, yeah. brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing. No, needs. no, no, I won't. No, he won't. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. Okay. Last place I thought we'd be going in a place like this. Bank. But... Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> nice. 
Why are we doing this again? Do we need the cash for the helicopter or? That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. All right okay. then. No, why am I getting out? Try to a lot next door. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This will do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Hold up, I gotta get in. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Shoot what now? Is that it, or...? Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Toledo-based security services frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four huh? units. Backup team at station is available. Oh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. Jeez. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Jeez. Well. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many. We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Is this your idea of low profile? <laughs> oh shit! Um... What? Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Checkpoints? Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not! Oh, good lord. Faster than Trevor, what are you doing? Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor... What are we doing? Race Michael to Trevor's office. Oh, boy. Uh, Ow. Deer! Hello! Oh, boy. Easy does it. Easy does it. So many deer! No one's got antlers! Ah, oh, majestic nature. I love it. You love to see it. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord! Ugh. Well, that's one way to get around! Stop, stop, stop! Brakes, brakes, brakes! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Well, that's one way to make a shortcut! I, I think. Fuck! How'd they get here? Because I off-roaded? Like a bitch? What took you so long? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Not great. Not great. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm oh making boy. you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. <laughs> there you go. Bon appetito. Not having it. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Okay. Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. Ugh, disgusting. So How are you eating little, that? Uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Right. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. Ooh. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. 
Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. Yeah, it's fair. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Yeah. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Oh, damn. Yeah. Think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Holy shit. That guy sucks. Yeah, we'll take chef. That it? You sure? Mmm, yeah, I think so. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Yep. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. No, thank I, you. I'll get a motel. Thanks. All right, suit yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. freaking psychopath. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> okay, Trevor, just let it all out. <sighs> Not the smartest choice you've ever made, huh? Ugh. New contact, Lester. Cool. All right, so we got that knocked out. Now what? Hmm. What's up, Franklin? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. Oh. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. Gee, hey, man. What? Oh, are all three of us hanging on the O'Neill brothers? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Probably out this way, right? Trevor! Oh, boy. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will yeah. find you! Yeah, right. Okay, well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye! All right, so we got two new things. We can uh, go down to the beach and see the O'Neill brothers, or we I guess we can all take on uh, this dude of Madrazo. Here we go. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Is that gasoline? Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Trevor. The fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> a lot. <laughs> now see the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, shut up. Oh man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasoline? Ah. No. <laughs> nice. Wow. You got a moment Sorry, home now. Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? So she knows the situation, oh, but she just shit, doesn't I'm care sorry, that much. I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where do you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Yeah. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time. Yeah. Killing everyone in sight. Just because yeah. I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? Good lord. You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, sane, 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 oh, sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. <laughs> Weirdos. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you. He hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So oh boy, typical. Here we go. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. 
You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. Okay, mom. Be back later for dinner. I mean, bye, Mrs. Madrazo. <laughs> well then, go to Franklin's location. Got it. Oh yeah, because we're going to beat up the O'Neill brothers, what is right? What's Franklin doing for Where's you anyway? Them? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Oh, thank God we don't have to drive all the way back. Thank the Lord. So when he says tailing, He's oh yeah. Sandy Shores, why did not hear about it? God damn it! <laughs> Shit, they see us, man. We gotta. Stop. Please chop with me. <laughs> Chase the O'Neill brothers. Got it. How do I still have the waypoint set? Dang it. <laughs> That's right, chop. Wolf, wolf, indeed. We're fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, Trevor! Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I cool. think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. Well, one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company Chopper and meet you there. Company oh, what the? Chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, All right, dog, then. Can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. Real hard. It's out from the chopper. All right. Oh, good lord, why here? No, 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 no. Okay, no, stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling. Why are you rolling? Ah, shit. Did I lose them? I think I might have just lost them. Yep. Fucking car rolled. This thing was not meant for off-roading, obviously. Fucking hell! Hell! Ha! Oh, <gasps> fuck! Yep, that'll do it. Oh, dang. Imagine it just blows up right then and there. <laughs> oh, dang. Helper! He yours, chop. Let's do this shit. All right. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. All right, here we go. I guess. Not oh, great. Don't worry. Incoming. Oh, boy. Well, this is Incoming. fun. Man, you're all business. No kidding. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. We These did kind of blow up their whole farmhouse. Like and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is. The Biz Alley. Remember... Ow! You say it's the companies and yet the decorations, I mean... You coming or what, Michael? Okay, let's do this. Look. Why do these guys... The O'Neills want you dead anyway. There was a deal. The contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close! And they stole it off me. Yeah. Oh, hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Lovely story there. What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? No. Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah. But I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. I'll yeah. with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being <laughs> with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait Are a you? second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. Oh, yeah. Stolen from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help? You can get out right now. Hey, hey! Hello! 
Them hit dudes in the woods. Oh, heavy sniper. With a thermal scope, look for their heat signatures. No need. I already see one of them. Oh no, wait, there's an elk. Hello. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Punks waiting around in the shallows. That one. Down. Moving target front Dear. Down. Dear, dear. Found him yet. Get one! It's sad seeing you miss like this, Michael. Just hey. one poor soul remaining. Mark, there's something! Fuck. Oh, what the? Incoming. Okay. There's nothing to shoot at. He's behind a rock. It's on you, homie. You know what hits smell like. Right? That's fair. Track him down, Frank. We're about to get shot out of the sky here. These will be interesting. Oh, I get it, kind of. No, oh, Franklin. Best buddies to the end, huh? Come on, Chop! Man, this water is fucking cold. And yet the dog can stand it more than you can, dude. Are we on his ass or what? Hello, dear. There he is. Suck him, Chop! I, I think. Phillips in the trees can fuck itself. Got him! Have him, Chop! I don't, ah. Bitch! Is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. Easy, easy, easy. Guys. Um. Fucking hell, game. Why you gotta be so finicky about your checkpoints? Jeez. Good lord, man. Come on, really? Come on, Chop. Let's get in. Chop! Chop. There you go, boy. All right, back to the airfield. Uh. You know the airfield's mine, don't you? Oh, yeah, you can afford a runway, but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. Huh. So how are you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, homie. And thank you, Chop. Hey, are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, uh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? Nope, you didn't. Uh, I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Yep. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don, and a few yep. other guys when I blew up the That's farm. all of them. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Ever so gently landed. Not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. A little bit forward, I hope. And gently set her down. Not there! Don't there we go. Feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Uh. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Oh, boy. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Thank you. Get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, nope. thanks for the warning. Okay, cool. So that's done. Now what? Predator? Really? Convoys delivering military equipment at HS. Uh, do we want to? I don't know if I want to. What? Martine. Hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look. I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. Oh boy. That will take some doing. Until we pick up things later, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching another episode of GTA 5 with me, or at least bearing through it anyways. This was some weird stuff, I'm not gonna lie. But apparently we got another heist plane in motion, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So, thank you guys. Tune in next time to see how we deal with this whole heist situation, I guess. If you like this episode, then please do me a favor. Feel free to leave a like, drop a comment down below, tell your friends about me, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Either way, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Max out! I'm a problem, I'm not a rat too